Hi guys, it's Pugs and Pearls, and today we are going to be doing another mask review on my channel. Today we have this Freeman, it's the Feeling Beautiful Hydrating Glacial Water Pink Peony Gel Cream Mask. So I have been wanting to try this one for quite some time. You can get this in multiple different stores. You can get this at the drugstore, Walgreens, Ulta, CVS, and I actually purchased this on the Rite Aid website, so I will leave a link below if you're interested in trying this out. This mask ranges from, I think, around like two to three dollars, depending on where you purchase it. And again, this is just a one-use mask, and um, it's different than the masks I've tried in the past. This one is supposed to be a leave-on mask, and it's supposed to instantly calm and soften for glowing skin. So I feel like I just want kind of like a nice, uh, refreshing mask today. I'm really hoping that this one works out. I am going to read a little bit about the claims of this mask just so that we can test it today. Um, and it's supposed to drench your skin and protect from environmental pollutants with um, a lightweight leave-on facial mask. It's supposed to be, again, the refreshing glacial water replenishes your dry skin while soothing pink peony, the queen of flowers, delicately calms for petal soft skin. So we're, we're looking for calming and soft skin today. I think this is gonna be a fun mask to try. Um, like I said, you can purchase this in a lot of different stores, but I had a hard time, so I did end up purchasing mine online at Rite Aid, but I'm really excited to try it. Before we do that though, I am going to use these little um, Sephora hair clips and I'm just gonna put my hair back so that we can keep it out of the way as we get started for this mask application. Alrighty guys, and one tool I'm going to be using to put this mask on my face, this is my e.l.f. mask tool. I love this thing, it helps keep my hands clean when I do masks. So we're just gonna apply with this. And as you can see, it's coming out really kind of blue gel and very creamy-like. It's kind of sliding a little bit on the paddle, but it looks really, really nice and hydrating so far. So let's go ahead and apply. Ooh, it is super cooling to the touch. I love that. And again, I am just going to apply this all over my face. Very, very nice. It's almost like um, if you guys have ever used aloe after you've been in the sun, it's got that instant cooling, very gel-like texture. It's really sliding easily on the face. Oh my gosh, I love it. Instantly refreshing. Now I am going to kind of use as much as I can from this mask and just go ahead and apply it all over. It does say to avoid the eye area and again I'm just going to put this on my forehead and try to do my best of massaging it around. I love the instant feel though. Instant feeling is very refreshing. Alrighty guys, so I have this applied all over my face. It says to set for 10 to 15 minutes and just let it absorb into your skin. You technically could leave this on all evening. You could sleep with it, it says. Um, I have a feeling I'm probably going to have to wash it off. Um, there was a little bit of extra in this packaging, so you do get maybe like two applications with this mask. Normally they are a one-use mask when you get it in this type of form. But I'm gonna go ahead and sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then come back and show you what it looks like. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. I sat for 15 minutes. It was very, very cooling, very, very relaxing. I enjoyed it. I did try to smell the mask because at first it doesn't have like a really strong scent, but it does have a very nice light peony scent, which is, you know, again, the peony flowers that they talk about. It does smell slightly artificial, but it's like a nice, very light, nothing too intrusive scent. So I do think it's going to be nice for people who maybe have sensitive skin or just looking to get like that calming feeling. Now, of course, I put a lot of mask on my face, so I, so I am going to wash this mask off and I'm going to come back and show you what my skin looks like and we can see if it actually did what it said it was going to do, which is to instantly calm and soften for glowing skin. So I will be right back. Alrighty guys, I am back. I just washed my face off and I have to say, my skin feels so nice. It feels cool to the touch. It feels very, very clean. And I do feel like it does make my skin a little bit brighter. So I have to say like, I loved the light scent as I was washing it off with warm water. I did use my handy dandy 
uh, the makeup eraser. I have a little mini one and I just use this to kind of help get the um, mask off. It works with a lot of mask removals, but I loved the scent of this as it came off with the warm water. I definitely started to get a little bit more of that glacier peony scent. Very light, very nice, very comfortable. One of the easiest masks I've ever applied. It went on super quick. So I think this is a great mask for beginners or people who are looking for just a little bit more of a quench to your skin. This is one I definitely would purchase in the tube so that I could use this pretty consistently. Um, I don't know if I would leave it on all day. I normally like to only have my masks on for about five to ten minutes. However, this one is one that you could sleep in overnight and let it even sink into your skin and I feel like I got an instant feeling from that just after 15 minutes. So it has a nice, like I said, light blue gel con uh, texture really easy to apply and what's unusual too is there is still more in this mask I could probably put this in a baggie and use it again tomorrow if I wanted to save this and use it for a second round which is unusual normally these only last about one use so I am a big fan of the Glacier Water Pink Peony Hydrating Gel Cream Mask. I do feel like it's very creamy. Um, well, it's more gel-like, but I do feel like it's very creamy in the sense that it really is sinking into the skin. Makes your skin feel really good, nice and cool. This would be great after a really hot day outside or a hot day at the beach. Uh, definitely will be probably using this more this summer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Pink Peony Mask. I give this a thumbs up. Definitely a really great mask to try. And again, easy to get your hands on and I will leave all of the links below for the tools and the masks that I talked about today. If you want to get more mask reviews and makeup reviews, just click the subscribe button below and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.